Hello everyone, this is Maxwell Adinavi, Sitze UCC president, and I'm on Tech Talk Ultra. Alright, so my typical day as a Sitze president is to make sure my fellow executives are coordinating they are working, making sure everything is in place, having meetings with the lecturers and putting initiatives together to make sure our student body gets the best from us. And my typical day as a sister president, I'm just busy. You just have to go here, from here you go there, meet lecturers. I also work, I do part time, so it's, it's just a stress, a stressful day. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so with the rules for SETA members, we just basically provide the student with skills. Yes, so that they'll be able to move from the academia to industry. They're able to spearhead both of the initiatives. They know that, okay, when I do this, this is where it will land me. When I do this, this is where it will land me. So they just get to know the difference between the industry and the academia. So we spearhead those initiatives by providing the Sitsa Club and some workshop. We organize seminars for them, for them to be equipped and to get to know the current trends in technology since you are tech guys. I think that's it. Okay, so sets are contributing to the tech community in UCC and beyond. With, with the aspect of UCC, we have student clubs that outside SETSA UCC, which we collaborate with them by providing them with projector and also pushing most of our members. It's, it's all the tech way we are going. So it's a tech world. So assuming there's a Pi club, which is not under SETSA, but the person is teaching what members will gain advantage of. We just make our members join. Then we also collaborate with them, try to provide them with resources that they would need. And with regards to collaborating with those outside UCC, what we do is we just organize workshops together, seminars, we just share ideas. So we get to know that, okay, maybe can you say this is the kind of resources they use if I'm a UCC student, I want to achieve this project. This is how I'm supposed to go about it. We all know knowledge is not found in one person's mind. So we just collaborate. It's inter-university collaboration. So we just do it. Yeah. Okay, so sets up collaborating with other department organization. You see, we being university students, one way or the other, the students would have a laptop and to knowingly or unknowingly students get attacked either virus or some laptop problems software issues here and there so <clears throat> most of the time what we try to do is we organize monthly clinic which we seek to help solve this petty software problem so with regards to that we also help save the student from the stress and to being duped of money and the like. So that's what we are trying to help a UCC students and the department at large. Okay, so with regards to the tools and IT infrastructure used by SETA members, we use GitHub for hosting and deploying of websites. We use Teams for hosting meetings. And so we have Google developer leads among us. So they help bring packages from Google student packages and as well as GitHub. We have GitHub students developer pack. So we get to take advantage of these tools brought by GitHub. So we just take advantage of it and we utilize it. So we use render, we use icons pack, in github developers pack and i think there's also the free domain so we just we just utilize it you know we are students you don't have money down much so we try to utilize the free stuff but in a premium version yeah so i think these are some of the very few ones we use one of the physical tools you think 
Okay, so with regards to the fiscal tools, I think we have an IoT club. So we have some robots and some tracks, which the program is those who are into the IoT. They program and they use it for the manipulation. It's a real world illustration. So they get to see that this is what I've programmed and this is what it's doing with the robots or the track. I think that's how it's been done. All right, so one of the innovative ways CITSA is using technology to achieve its goals is by using our website, CITSA website. So we use this website to provide timetable for students. So it's it's an university. Most of the time, the freshest example, they come knowing nowhere. So with regards to that, for their life to be easy on campus, they, we tend to provide their timetable to them using the CETSA website. And also, if a student wants to have an attachment or internship, the person gets the letter through the CETSA website without going through any stress. Yeah, so I think that's it's one of the ways we are using technology in an innovative way. All right, so sets us staying up to date with the latest trends in technology we just keep our in we just collaborate with this industry players that are like amalitech cybertech so we just collaborate organize seminars they come around face-to-face -face interaction we ask them about our hurdles whatever we find difficult they just let us know that this is the way forward. This is the new technology evolving. Yes, then we take it from there. Since they are in the tech field and we are in the academia. So sometimes they get to know the technology or the fast rising tool that is being in the tech space. Yeah. Okay, so with regards to we incorporating new technologies into our future when there is a release of technology since we are tech guys we deal with technology and the world is moving technological so we just always stay up to date with what we do so we make sure when there's a new technology release we just hop into it then we try to dive into it digest and know what it's what goes into it then with regards to that we get to use it then we make the most out of it yeah so that's what we'll be doing with the resources that's available for sitsa students to learn and develop their tech skills we have sitsa clubs yeah so it consists of the networking database multimedia web development cyber security it varies data science a whole lot yeah so with regards to this club students are just to see any of the city executives then make arrangements the clubs are free so it's not just for city members it's open to the university community you just see any of the city executives we guide you we counsel you through the career path you want to go then we make sure you're on the right path. Then we give you to the club leads. Then they take it from there. And the club leads are very experienced. They know what they do. Yes. Okay, so my advice to SITSA students is just to be updated with their recent technology tools that pops up each and every day. They should just be online just navigate through the internet and to we are in the university to learn but you should know that after the university there's life after school you should ask yourself is it going to be an acad academic life or is it going to be an industrial life so with there you just get to know that oh if i really want to further my education with regards to the academia field then that one if you have your first class or upper you are good to go but if you want to enter into the tech space get money build apps become a genius then you will really have to 
work on your skills, improve, be hungry always, and get your mind filled with knowledge. I'll just say the students should be disciplined. The sh- students should persevere and also the students should be able to work hard because we all know we live in a competitive world though you are not in competition with anyone but whatever you feel you know by the time you realize someone knows better times 10 of what you do so you just have to be up to the game up to the task then you just persevere you work hard then you stay focused then you become disciplined Fast forward, students who join the SETSA clubs get the opportunity to work on several projects because before SETSA would issue out a certificate that Osimo C has completed maybe web development club as in the first phase, meaning you've worked on a project and it's a top-notch one. Yes, so with regards to that, when you undergo those training, you get the opportunity to have a skill set as an individual and also a skill set on your portfolio, which you can showcase out there. And to to mind you, SETSA also has collaborations with most of these tech industries in the country, like Amalitech, Cybertech, and the like. So we get to connect our top students to these companies. And hey, you are good to go. Okay, so there are lots of organizations that really depend on SETSA in and outside Ghana. Tech, top tech groups and companies really rely on SETSA, mostly on our students' body, those who are really skilled. So we do recommend most of our students to these tech companies and our students get employed. So there again, it all boils down to this SETSA club because without it, you can't get the necessary or required skills for you to be employed. Yes, and also SETSA members or the university community should just take advantage of whatever tech program we organize because it's really top-notch and to your life won't be the same when you come to that program. It's just a mind-changing program. And the list of activities we have for the semester, they are top-notch. Three days, cybersecurity. Even if you are an amateur, you just have to come. Basic knowledge, you, you, are, you will just be good to go. Kickstart your tech journey, yeah. All right, so some of my experience I gathered as a sister president. I had fun, honestly. I had the opportunity to meet big people, distinguished guests, lecturers, collaborate with my executives, get to meet new people across the world. Yeah, and so leadership is nice. So if you get the opportunity to become a leader, I would advise you try it out because it gives you new spheres of life. It, you get shaped in life. You get to work on yourself. You become disciplined, obviously. You get to learn new stuff just to adjust and adapt to the changes. And you'll be good to go. Leadership is a good thing. So I advise, based on my experience as a sister president, I advise each and everyone who would want to take on a leadership role to just go ahead and do it just take it just be just take it just take it you'll be good my vision and mission for sister students is just to create an environment where the student body is celebrated and also students get equipped and to provide them with opportunities that come my way as a sister president, try to fight for the student body, try to make their work very simple on campus, try to be of help anyway in the tech space with regards to issues concerning academics, try to try to provide initiatives that will just guide them. With regards to the academics, we have academic committee which they seek to the day in and day out of the academic works of the students. So we are just trying our best to make sure we give our students their best. 
Sitsa has a club, as I said earlier. And this ca- this clubs, what we mostly do with the collaboration and coordination, it's about teaching. They do teach. Yeah, so impacting the students, the projectors we have as an association is not enough. Making this club list suffer because in as much as we have a scheduled time for each of the clubs to meet, it also affects the leaders, their timing as well. So if we could get a lot of projectors, that would be of help to the entire student populace and the leaders as well because it will fasten their process and to learn will become more fast and reliable and also whatever we want, we'll just be able to get it at a go. Okay, guys, so I'm Maxwell Adinavi. You can follow me on all social media handles, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And also, don't forget to follow Computer Science and Information Technology Students Association, UCC. CETA UCC for short on all social media handles. And you just get to get interact. Don't forget to follow Maria Multimedia academy on youtube tiktok you just have to like subscribe to the video and i'll be waiting for your amazing comments bye